Hey everyone, it's Catherine from CatherinePlore.com and I today am playing with my pop-up posies designer kit from Stampin' Up. I just got it. It's been a lot of fun to play with. You can see these flowers that I made. Wanted to pop in here and show you how quick and easy they are to make. In the kit you get a bunch of flowers, you get all these little uh, cupcake liner doohickeys, you get satin covered brads, you get these great labels that are die cut and embossed. Totally cool. And you get this little stamp just for you. Awesome. And you can see I've made a couple cards here. This is a really beautiful Calypso coral. I just layered a bunch of these together, poked a hole down through the center, and then I just crumple it up in my hand. And I kind of played with the petals, and that's what I got. This card right here is a tutorial that I did for Stamp Nation, and I showed also how to use the Simply Scored, whatever that thing is called. I'll put a note what it's called. So let's do the flowers from with the little cupcake liners. There are instructions that go with this. So first you're going to take the small flower and poke a hole through the center. Then you're gonna take four medium cupcake liners, fold them in half, and then you see I have a little hole poked through. Can you see that? Very close to the edge. And you're just going to layer these, kind of turning like halfway or so each time you put a new one on. Now I have all four of the small ones, and now I'm gonna to move to the big ones. And then the last, I'm just going to put a full one on there. It's pretty thick on my brad. And then I'll open the back, and I've got this really fun flower. That looks awesome. Now if you want to add a little color to this, you can take a sponge dauber. I have a Pretty in Pink ink pad and I'm just going to sponge color on the edges of my flower. Now if you want to click the link below the video, you can hop over to my blog and you can see all the details on this kit and you can see the card that I made with this flower and also the details on the other card, this one right here. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for my newsletter. That comes out two to three times a month with exclusive projects and fun stuff for you. So I hope this little video was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching. Thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and happy stamping.